Hey, how's everybody doing? It's an amazing day to be alive. It's happy Monday, by the way, um, for those of you who uh, are starting the work week. I hope you don't have a case of the Mondays. If you can see behind my shoulder there, that red stapler is for you, my office space peoples. What's up, Russ? How the heck are you, man? Good to see you, brother. Let me just uh, pull the pull this up on my phone really quick to make sure everything's good. It's for you, my office is space. Sweet. George, what's up, man? Um, happy Monday to you, Russ. Good to see you, man. So um, today has been, <laughs> I've had my butt in this chair uh, pretty much uh, all day. I went out, I ran a couple of errands a little bit earlier and uh, I've just been editing. I finished two videos and sent them off to the client. I've got three that I'm trying to have done this week and sent off to a client. Um, and then I've got all the awesome people that I shot B-roll for in Denver. I'm still separating and sifting through all that stuff. Uh, so I can send those off too. So uh, my butt's gonna be glued to this chair pretty much all week. And uh, I don't, I'm not super enthused about that, but it's gotta get done. Colleen! Oh my gosh, Colleen! Good to see you, it's been a minute since we've, uh, since we've chatted. So George, Russ, Colleen, thanks for hopping on you guys and for everyone else. Um, if you are joining us, whether it's live or on the replay, I'd love for you to comment and tell me where you're watching from. It's just fun to kind of see uh, where, where everybody's from that comes on these. So drop a comment below and let me know where you're, where you're watching from. Okay? So uh, today I want to talk about like the biggest secret that I have uh, discovered and put to work. Um, that has got me huge success, and it's a, a secret that other highly, highly successful people have done uh, as well and, and tapped into. What's up, Lance? So that's what we're going to talk about today. The secret that I have uncovered or unlocked that has got me huge, huge results um, in, in my business, and I know it can for you too. So with that said, let's jump on in. All right, so awesome. We've got, thanks for, thanks for commenting. So Lance is joining us from Wyoming. I already knew that. Colleen from New Jersey, George from Kansas City, and Russ is from Tennessee. Everyone else, when you watch this, um, drop a comment where you're watching from. Super fun. So um, Cheryl, oh, Cheryl's watching too. How, happy to see you, Cheryl. Man, I'm... Hopefully this fall is when I can make my pilgrimage, side note, pilgrimage to uh, the Holy Land, a.k.a. Fenway and Foxborough, so we can go uh, hang out and have some lobster as well. Um, hope you're having, having an awesome day, Cheryl. So, um, again, like, welcome to this awesome Facebook Live. Um, it's been, I've been quiet over the last little bit. Um, if you're new here, I'm Nick Fitzgerald. I am a storytelling marketer who helps entrepreneurs and businesses take their stories and experiences and sell more of their products and services. And uh, it's I just absolutely love it. And I have been in story creation uh, mode for the last few weeks, um, but it's been for other people. Um, I've been working with the Facebook Live Secrets group. Um, I shot tons of video two weeks ago, or it's been, no, just last week, uh, a week ago in Denver, I think. I can't remember. My dates are all mixed up. Um, and uh, I've been editing and stuff like pretty much nonstop and just, just doing video stuff. Excuse me. Um, and so I've been super, super busy. What's up, John? Happy to see you, dude. Um, and it's just one of those things where um, it's a necessary thing. Uh, I, I love the creative process and everything. Um, however, it takes up a lot of my time um, in certain aspects of it. Um, so I'm working on building things so that I have I have somebody who I actually trust now that I'm going to start farming out editing and stuff to to free up some more time to work with you guys. So I'm super excited for that. But um, 
Last week, or two weeks ago, I went to an event in Denver, Colorado called Unlock the Secrets. Um, it was a, an event put on by Russell Brunson and the ClickFunnels team for their two Comma Club X coaching students and their families. We were able to come, and Chloe came with me, and it was, we just had a daddy-daughter trip. It's the first time I've ever done uh, anything like that. Uh, it was super, super fun. And, uh, you know, just learned a ton. And, um, like, seriously, I unlocked uh, some secrets and some things for myself that had kind of been right in front of my face. But, you know, I just had some breakthroughs. But it started to get me thinking about, <clears throat> you know, some of the other secrets or things that I have been able to unlock in my entrepreneurial entrepreneurial journey that have been beneficial to myself, my family, my clients, and the people that I want to serve. And so I want to talk about that today, if that is cool with you. So if you are okay with me sharing uh, one of the biggest secrets to my success, as well as the things that I've seen in the success of others and highly successful people, if you're cool with that, let's blow it up with some hearts. Um, I'm going to uh, grab, grab a drink really quick. But Lance, um, I'm just going to add this. Lance is loving the Facebook Live stuff. He is uh, in that first round. So is Russ. Um, and then uh, Danny Hayes, who just joined us, um, is is in there as well. And uh, I'm loving it. it. Like, seriously, it's been so groundbreaking. So let me grab a drink. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay. So. Here is the, the thing. I've learned lots of stuff through my own trial and error, right? I have been an entrepreneur since fully, or, you know, going down that entrepreneurial path, creating my own destiny, so to speak, since 2015, um, when I l did not go and get a job for someone else. And I said, I'm going to do this and, uh, you know, make things happen. What's up, Rex? What's up, Crystal? Good to see you guys. Oh, it's been a minute. So um, I've learned a ton of different things. I've hired coaches. Um, I've gone to events. I've masterminded with people. I've made amazing friends who have taught me incredible things. But I want to share with you the one secret, the one thing that I have learned that has been game-changing in my success for my business. And I know it can for you because there's a pattern um, that highly successful people do. Um, or follow and uh, it's just uh, just one of those things so whoops good to see you too Rex so here here is the, here it is are you ready drum roll bring on those hearts and emojis um, <laughs> basically the biggest the biggest breakthrough the biggest secret that I personally have unlocked that's led to huge success You've heard me talk about, you know, I serve people and tell my story. That's how I grew last year, right? Um, I told my story and served people, and those things led me to meeting the right people and, and all this kind of stuff. Um, and that is huge. And that is an important secret, but it's not the most important and most impactful secret that I have learned. Um, seriously, this if, if, I, if I didn't realize, believe, and then go uh, with this secret. Um, so I, I, I'd still, I'd probably be working at Best Buy or something. I'd be working for somebody else and not happy. Uh, and I just, it would be terrible. So that is Morag, what's up? So more, I met briefly, side, side thing for Morag. Um, I know you're in London, right? I lived in Scotland for a couple years. So I met some Morags, and when I saw it, I was like, oh, I just got homesick for Scotland. So thanks for watching. Um, and Danny Hayes has joined us. So this is the thing. The biggest secret that I have discovered and uh, put to work that has been impactful, hugely impactful for my success, and I know it's successful, um, is one of the habits that highly successful people have, is, are you ready? Are you ready? I took action I did I did do you do you understand what that means like somebody 
Some of you might be like, oh, that was just the lamest buildup to a, a secret. But honestly, the thing that I can trace every success back to, me, even like me telling my stories and serving people and all this stuff goes back to me taking action. Taking action. Okay, I have become better and better. I'm still not the best, but I'm getting better and better every day at taking massive action. To taking action that moves me forward, that moves my clients forward, that gets me in positions to serve people in a, a better way, right? And um, seriously, if I did not master the taking action part, I would not be sitting here. I would not have this course with 21 people going through it. I would not have this following. I would not be able to do a lot of things, okay? Now, let's let's rewind the clock. Let's turn the pages of the calendar back to talk about it, okay? About um, some examples of how taking action has set me on the path and brought me success. Are you guys cool with that? First of all, how many of you believe that taking action is the biggest secret to success? Do you believe that yourself? If you do, drop me a comment. Dro give me some hearts and, and all those kinds of emojis. If you disagree, give me the angry face. You know, that kind of stuff. I want to know if you guys buy that. That taking action is the biggest secret to being able to have success um, in your business and in your life. What's up, A.A. Ron? He just showed up. And Morag, hey, hey. Yes, Lance. Scotland is the best. And um, so, awesome. Morag says, absolutely. We've got, yes, I believe action is vital, says Lance. And then Aaron says, taking action is a big part of success. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so that is what I want to talk about. And I want to just share some experiences uh, with, with you and give you like a little bit of an update on some things that are going on with me and why... Um, uh, just taking action has been a huge part of that, okay? So let me grab one more drink and get into it. Okay, <clears throat> so when, when I started my entrepreneurial journey in 2015, some of you know this story. I had just been fired as a financial advisor for not hitting my sales numbers. I was let go because I was I just wasn't didn't cut it. Um, and all that stuff, and I was left with the decision, what do I want to be when I grow up again? Uh, did I want to continue my financial advising career um, just with a different firm? Did, what, what did I want to do? And I ultimately came down to me not wanting to work for someone else, but I wanted to create my own thing. I wanted to do something that I enjoyed. So I started my video production company without a video camera and started going to work. Guess what? I took the action and started something without even having the proper tools, okay? I started a video production company without a video camera of my own. I ended up borrowing one from my dad and I just went running around shooting video. I did not have clients for the first couple months of my business. I didn't, because nobody knew me. I had zero uh, connections with business owners and, and things like that. Um, and what's up, Wayne? Thanks for hopping on, dude. And um, it was just one of those things where I I, I just started going um, because I <laughs> I had no other choice. So I started going out and uh, I wanted to get good at using the camera. It was something new uh, to to uh, to me um, to go out with this camera. I'd never really worked with this camera before. I didn't like the automatic thing, so I turned it to manual and I taught myself how to get everything working uh, with that camera and everything. And um, it was just uh, very cool. And I went up, I remember I went up in the, I had so many ideas. I went up in the mountains to uh, just film. It was winter time. I went up and I shot, you know, snow melting and dripping off of pine trees and, and boughs. And, and I took my a sound recorder and a microphone and did some Foley, like getting sounds of crunching in snow and you know, all sorts of different stuff. Cause I was like, if I can put these things, I can sell these clips or sell, sell these audio clips and things like that. And uh, it's just, uh, it was just a super fun uh, thing to do. What's up Wayne, good to see you as well. You're awesome, dude. 
Um, and uh, Rex, I'll come back to your comment here in a little bit. But like, um, so I started out on doing that. And again, this, this went on for a couple of months. And um, I remember there was one day I was going out to shoot some video. I had nothing on the schedule. And so I'm like, I'm just going to go out and shoot stuff with my camera, shoot some B-roll, you know, work on some visual uh, technical skills. Um, and so I set out in the morning and I saw um, smoke in the distance. Like it was, again, it's winter time. So I was like, that's more than just like some chimney smoke from a fireplace. So I hop in my car and I go and I see if I can find it. I track it down. And um, I totally came across this house that was uh, like fully engulfed, fully involved in fire. Um, the fire crews had not arrived yet. There were police going around knocking on doors of the neighbors to make sure that they were out to, to be safe. And so I parked on the street behind the house because I knew if I went in, I'd be blocked in by fire, fire trucks and engines and all that stuff. That's where being the son of a firefighter came in handy. I knew how things were going to go down. But I was getting in the trunk of my car, getting the camera out. And one of the cops saw me get my camera out. And he's like, are you media? And again, I, I didn't work for anybody. I didn't work for a news station, any of that stuff. But I just said, yeah. And so he took me in the backyard of this house that was like back, backyard neighbors with the house that was on fire. And so I got some amazing footage of this huge fireball. It was just flames shooting off the top of this house and everything. Um, and what's up, Kelton? Good to see you. And uh, so we, I started, I, I did that. And um, yes, Aaron, it was sad that uh, somebody's house was destroyed. It was fully destroyed. Um, but I spent the, an hour there shooting all sorts of different video. And um, then I, I went home and I told my wife about it. I was like, well, you never guess what just happened and stuff. But then I was uh, talking. I was on Twitter and the, one of the reporters uh, for the local NBC affiliate was, was covering the story. And so she tweeted about it and I just responded to her saying like, hey, I got some awesome video, um, you know, and... I, I'm sorry, I saw Aaron's comment. Uh, lie to get ahead, folks. Um, I was media. I had a camera. I was creating media, right? Um, but I just said, hey, I got some awesome video of it before uh, fire crews got there and stuff. So she and I worked and I got the video into the assignment desk, right? So, you know, not, then and my footage got put on the news. And guess what? Nothing happened. I didn't get any business from it, anything like that. But... About four months down the road, I uh, felt I had this I, this thought to uh, to ask and reach out to this reporter again, and so I asked her. Her name's Shara Park. Um, she's an awesome lady, and uh, I just said, "Hey, do you guys ever hire like freelancers, um, it, or or is that just something that Spider Man made me think was real that news?" news places hired like freelancers to to do stuff and she said we do all the time let me get you in touch with the chief photographer and and stuff and so she got me in touch with them introduced me and everything and i got an interview with them and it was so funny like i went into the interview i was dressed up and it's funny the chief photographer shows that he's got a baseball cap on and t-shirt and jeans and i was like oh i'm way overdressed you know um because up to that point, my whole experience with interviewing for a position is you have to dress up regardless of what it is um, and and stuff like that. But I went in and at the end of the interview, I didn't have to prove my merits or anything. They just said, do you want, we'd love to have you. Um, so I was like, sweet. And um, yes, Aaron, just like Peter Parker. <laughs> exactly. I was the Peter Parker, of, uh, a video version of Peter Parker. Um, and so... What's up, Ben? Good to see you. So uh, why do I tell that story? So that, that started me. I started freelancing with um, KSL, they're the NBC affiliate here. Um, they have won like now, I think three years in a row, the NPPA, NPPPA, I can't remember, NPPA um, Station of the Year, which is all about storytelling uh, for like three years in a row now. Um, so I worked almost full time that whole summer, spring and summer, shooting news and through the fall. And it was incredible and I learned so much. That set me on the path of, of then transitioning to film and then 
switching back to corporate, uh, you know, and being an actual entrepreneur and starting a business as opposed to being a freelancer for other people, right? And um, Wayne got his first news job the same way. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, uh, again, that whole thing, take, I, the whole, again, the whole secret that I teased at the beginning, the secret to my success that I have unlocked, the secret to other, you know, very successful people like Dean Graziosi, Tony Robbins, Russell Brunson, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, anybody that you can think of who's successful, Richard Branson, uh, Warren Buffett, you know, they all did one, do one, are good at very, very good at one thing, and that is taking action. Um, and that is something that I have started to become very, very good at. Um, just like I said, I started that business. I took action and created a business without having a camera, <laughs> right? And then I took action and went out on a day, on days when I didn't have things scheduled or things that I had to do. I would take action and go out and film stuff, film trees and mountainsides and all sorts of just boring things just to get better at my technical skills, right? And then again, by taking action one morning when I had nothing and it was cold outside, I came across a house that was on fire and I was able to get some video of it. And then not only, just by, you know, I could have been like, that was cool, that was a cool experience, right? But then months later, I took action again and I had a thought and a feeling that I should ask a question. And instead of being like, you're nobody, you don't, do, you don't have a journalism degree, you know, all this kind of stuff, and talk myself out of it, I said, hey, do you guys ever do this? And they're like, yes, we do. And I got work. I was able to provide for my family, right? It was going and working on film sets and taking action there that got me invited back and that got me on 13 feature films and all sorts of stuff. It's taking action and doing things that got me invited to speak with Russell Brunson on stage last year at uh, the Traffic Secrets event in Phoenix. It was taking action that opened the doors to me being a roundtable host at Funnel Hacking Live 2019 and to being on a success panel at Funnel Hacking Live speaking in front of 4,500 people. None of that happens if I never take action, if I sit back and wait, okay? Now, um, this is gonna, this might sting a little bit. So Rex, I'm gonna come back to your comment. He says, he's about to go uh, to take action to make the biggest move in his life. He's actually going to be moving here to Utah from Florida. And I'm super excited to have him as a neighbor. Hopefully you can get like, come move into my neighborhood, Rex. Um, and re regardless, wherever you move to, let me know where it is beforehand so I can organize a, uh, a party of, uh, to help you get moved in so you can meet some of your neighbors. But like taking action, if you're, if you, you could have the greatest ideas in the world, you could have the best products, services, have everything served up on a silver platter for your people. But then if you never put it out there, if you never market it, if you never push send or whatever, it does you no good. You have to take action, okay? You have to take action. Um, ben says the journey of a thousand miles begins with what? The first step, right? Um, and seriously, all the things that I've done. So when I was in Denver, I was running around like a crazy person shooting videos. I shot a video for my awesome friend, Shimen Van Gundy, and she absolutely loved it. I had 17 people that I was shooting B-roll of during the event and uh, all that kind of stuff. Like Tom was one of them, Aaron was one of them. Um, it was just uh, super fun to, to be able to, to do that. And people were like, that was such a brilliant idea, Nick. That was, oh, you know, uh, when I was talking to people. And you know what? The whole reason that it even happened is because I had an idea and I put it out to the world. And I let the world tell me if they wanted it or not. That one they did. I've put so many offers and ideas and things out to the world um, and had crickets. And you know what happens? I didn't get any business. I didn't make any money. I didn't get new clients. I didn't have those connections, whatever it might be. But in, instead of moping about it, and re uh, recoiling back into my cave because I failed, guess what I did? I took what I learned and I created something else and I put it out there. 
And then that one didn't hit, and that one didn't hit, and then I did it over, and then another one didn't hit, and then I did something different, and then that one hit, you know, like taking action and putting stuff and doing stuff and creating offers and, and making offers to people. It's one thing to create offers, but it's one to extend the offer to people, right? Um, that I, I would not be sitting here in this house, in this office, with, this, with these people and all that kind of stuff if... Um, you know, I didn't have uh, any actions to take if I hadn't done anything in the past. Okay. And so it's just one of those, like, if you want success, start by taking action. You have to take massive action, impactful action, like Millionaire Success Habits, this book by Dean Graziosi. Let me get it in here. Where is it? Where is it in focus? Back here. Um, it is it is an incredible book, but like seriously, you can do all these habits, which are you know like the foundation, the villain within, the power of your story, awakening your hero, one shining goal, attraction and persuasion, after the yes, the power of happiness, quick hacks to success, and the challenge. None of those things are possible if you don't take action, right? Getting into the Two Comma Club X coaching program, for for in for instance. I would have never had that opportunity if I didn't take action and go to Funnel Hacking Live when I had no idea how I was going to pay for it, how I was going to get there, where I was going to stay, any of that stuff. I had no clue. But I decided I needed to go. I wanted to go. I had to go. So I went. Then I signed up for this coaching program, which is expensive. Um, and, you know... It, it was, I did not have the money to pay for that either. But guess what? I got home and instead of being like, I'm just try to sweep it under the rug and rack up credit card debt or whatever it is. Guess what? I took action. I went to work. I made offers. I made three different offers um, to people after I got home um, and they all said no. And then the fourth one stuck and it worked and it paid for my coaching program for the year. Do you see like... If I would have been defeated after the first no, after the second no, after the third no, the fourth one was a yes, but if the fourth one was a no and the fifth one was a no, right? I had, I kept taking action. And this isn't to be, make me be all like, oh, look at me, look how great I am. Like Aaron and uh, all of you guys who are, and, and gals, who are watching this, like action is what sets you apart and what sets you on the path. You can't get anywhere. You can't drive your car without pushing the accelerator. You can't push the accelerator and have it go forward without turning on the car, right? You have to do things in order to move. So um, is this making sense? First of all, let me just check in. Um, I kind of got off on a, a rant there a little bit. But is that making sense? If so, let me know in the comments your thoughts or, um, you know, uh, blow me up with some, with some hearts. If you disagree, give me the angry emoji, right? So, um, we're getting Ben, thumbs up. Wayne says, thumbs up. Lance, 100% agree. Awesome. Um, and then, like, so, uh, Aaron, Aaron makes this point. I made an offer, a new, another offer earlier today, um, to offer mind. Um, and he says, I do what I teach. And honestly, I wouldn't be sitting here preaching about it if I, if I didn't do it, right? Action does. Like, I created this offer of being able to shoot an uh, origin story with people. We sit down for an hour, two hours tops, and we talk. I interview you a little bit, and we, I get your origin story, basically, uh, about who you are, what you do, and why you do it. And then I edit that together. And give it to you with two uh, smaller versions of the video, like 15, 30 second versions that you can use in your social media, right? I put that out there. And that's not a, a cheap offer, you know, it's, it's 3,500 bucks is what I'm offering it for. Um, one person is, is in for sure and uh, I'm wanting to get at least three more 
so that I can justify the trip up there on Labor Day weekend. Who schedules an event on a holiday like that? That's crazy. Um, so, <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things where it's just like, come on, man. So in order for me to justify leaving my family on a holiday weekend, the last one of the summer, so to speak, you know, um, I need to be able to justify it financially um, and stuff like that. So what's up, Dave? Thanks for hopping on, brother. But, um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things that if you want to move the needle in your business, if you do not like where your business is, if you do not like where your life is or your relationships are or uh, your friendships or your finances, if you are unhappy in any way, you can change it. You can change it and you should change it. You can and you should. That's becoming one of my, uh, one of my phrases. Whatever that means you can to you, you can and you should. You can do it. You can create that business. You can go ask that gal or, gr or guy out on a date or you, whatever it is. You can have that hard decision and you should, right? You can do it and you should do it. Whatever that it is for you, you can. But if you're never going to take action, I, it's frustrating. I'm going to kind of get in. Um, I'm going to kind of get call some people, not by name, but if you're, if you're watching this and this triggers something in you, then you know that I'm speaking to you. Um, I don't have like a list of names sitting here like, oh, Jim does this and uh, Josie does that. No, nothing like that. If you are one of those people who sit around and come up with ideas and have awesome things going, uh, you know, like, oh my gosh, uh, and write down things, right? If you are one of those people, but you still have not put that thing out to the world, why? Why? You're never going to break through any of the, the things that are holding you back uh, by not taking action. And I understand there's fear of rejection and fear of this and that. And fear is the main thing that holds us back, right? But I'm telling you that you, if you want to change, you can and you should. All you have to do is take small steps. When you first wake up in the morning, do something that will move you a little bit closer to making that bigger decision. Like if you're having to decide, oh man, am I going to move my family across country? Uh, you know, like Rex is, is doing. He didn't come to that decision just like, wake up one morning, we're moving to Utah. No. He, did, he made lots, took lots of actions along the way to set him on the path and be ready to say yes and take action when the right opportunity came, right? Okay. Um, Aaron, dude, dude, put this in to share it with him. That would be super cool. Okay. If you want to change your circumstances, your life, your business, your relationships, your finances your location. You have to take action. You have to decide, take action right now and say, I am no longer going to be wishy-washy. I am no longer just going to come up with ideas and never implement. I am no longer going to create amazing business plans and then never put anything out there. I am, I am deciding now that I am going to build the funnel. I've had a ClickFunnels account for two years and I still never built a funnel or, or launched anything for myself. Do it! <laughs> this just reminds me of that uh, Shia LaBeouf gif um, where <laughs> it's, he's like, do it! Right? Somebody, somebody, somebody turned that into a gif. Do it! <laughs> okay? Somebody screen grab that and turn that into a thing, put it on the world. No, but like seriously, um, it's, it's one of those things that I look at my memories in Facebook. You know how you can see what you wrote, posted like seven years ago today or, you know, that kind of stuff. And I whined and complained so much about my circumstances, about my job and how much I hated uh, the work that I was doing and all this stuff. I constantly moaned about it. I was such a whiny baby. It wasn't until I finally decided, decided you know what? I'm not going to sit around and wait for somebody to see my merit and give me a raise or whatever because that wasn't going to ever happen. And even if they did give me something, it wasn't going to be enough for what I felt I deserved. So I finally took action and did something for myself and for my family. And guess what? I will never go back to that. I can't. I cannot go back to working for another company 
as an employ as a W two employee. I can't. I cannot. And I will not. Okay? But it wasn't until I finally got over myself and stopped blaming others and put the turn the, the mirror, the micros, microscope back on myself that I finally got to make changes. And I got to get the things that I wanted in life. And I'm still working towards what I everything that I want, right? But I'm way closer today than I was seven years ago when I was sitting in a cubicle at BC Technical whining about everything. You know what I mean? Okay? So that's that's my rant. Okay? Sorry. It's, well, I don't apologize for going off on a tangent and on a rant, but it's absolutely needed to be said. Lance is building the platform. He's a doer. He absolutely is. Um, in my Facebook Live Secrets course, Lance and Aaron are the doers of the group. I see them all the time doing and implementing this stuff, and it's amazing. Um, Tom, rant on, brother. <laughs> Thanks for the kick in the butt. I say this as I'm tearing apart someone's uh, house for a remodel. <laughs> That's awesome. And then Ben, he's, uh, when I wake up in the morning, I listen to music, to movies, or uh, to motivate me to get out uh, of bed versus staying in bed for another 15 minutes. Awesome. And he says, just do it. And uh, Wayne, you're so very welcome. So that's my rant. If you want to have success, you have to take action. That is what has got me success and got me the opportunities that I have and has given me opportunities for things that are coming up that are super exciting and going to be huge. Okay. And so um, just a quick little update. It's been a little, like I've had my head down so much. Um, you know, I haven't been uh, going live every day to let you know what's going on. But uh, starting this week, uh, in, the, in the next couple weeks, I'm going to be writing a chapter for a book with some other amazing entrepreneurs that's going to be going out, which is super cool. Um, and then um, I'm doing this uh, video shoot while these offering some video shoots in Boise next week. Um, so if you are a business, if you're not going to this OfferMind, if you are going to OfferMind, or if you know people going to OfferMind, tell them to look at my post earlier today um, and get in contact with me for doing some video up there. Um, but I've got that going on. Um, I have uh, all these amazing uh, people that I've been working with on some video B-roll and stuff. And then um, I'm going to do a three-day mastermind thing. Uh, you know, in Ca in California, near LA, towards the end of, of October. Um, all sorts of good stuff are coming. And then, of course, the Facebook Live Secrets course. You could actually, if you wanted to, get in um, again, or you could get into it right now. The cart is open. I just haven't been promoting it because I'm uh, finishing up some stuff for it. But you could get in and start consuming and getting better at Facebook Lives. Aaron and uh, uh, Lance and Russ and uh, who else is in there that was on this live? Um, just you, you can ask any of them how it has been, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. So um, anyway, oh, <laughs> I actually put put Aaron's comment. He can't read the book. Um, he can't wait to read it. He's one of the authors in it. So anyway, that is my uh, summary. Summary. What's up, Dan? Thanks for hopping on. Um, if you want to change your life, you have to take action. Share this. I challenge you to share this on your timelines or into groups or whatever. People need to hear this. And this isn't, they don't need to hear it from me. They just need to hear it. Okay. And um, I would love for that message to be shared and impact so many more people. Okay. So, um, oh, here's a couple of, here's a couple of uh, quick testimonials for the Facebook Live Secrets. Do it. It's great. And then uh, Aaron says, such a great course and loving it has helped a ton. Yes. That's what I love to hear. Um, and then Rex, I will see you soon as well. Keep me posted on the move. Aaron is here in Utah as well. So you've got two, two friends uh, already. <laughs> okay. Anyway. You guys can change your lives and change your world and change the worlds of others, but you have to take action if you want to have that opportunity. So with that said, go out, do, serve, 
and share your message with the world. And if you need any help on getting that message dialed in and sent out to the masses, come and talk to me and I will get you prepped and ready and rocking and rolling. So with that said, have an amazing rest of your Monday and we'll catch you soon.